Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing you how to make this beautiful Valentine's arrangement. Now, I will be making the same exact arrangement, but with a different teddy bear and a different color palette, so stick around towards the end to see the final look. If you like more videos like this, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button below and leave your comments, so let's get started. Hi guys, so as I mentioned before, I'm going to show you how to put together this lovely arrangement. Now this is a Valentine theme because Valentine is coming up and what better way than to surprise your loved ones or baby girl, baby boy with a beautiful balloon bouquet. And the cutest part is that you can um, pretty much just change the whole look, use different color palettes, as long as it's just screaming. Uh, Valentine's I think is such a cute detail. Other than, you know, your regular teddy bear and flowers, why not just utilize it in a very unique way of presenting it, right? Hi so, guys, okay, so this arrangement, it's such a cute arrangement uh, for like a baby girl. But if you want to make it and tailor it for a boy, you can do so as well. Now, I personally chose to just use white at the bottom, different shades, pearlized and matted white, only because it's supposed to be like hanging off a cloud. And then I'm using some strings with um, a balloon bouquet on the top with uh, pink. And mainly because it's such a girly version of it that I think it's a uh, super cute for it so i strained some balloons used my confetti and my statement balloon that says happy valentine's and i mean i could have even used like some red um on the bear but you know i just used what i had and i think it turned out so lovely so now i'm gonna do an arrangement uh soft as well but more for like a boy so this time i have this really really cute teddy bear i mean you guys look at this and you can find these teddy bears at your local store target walmart dollar store you name it um and they are not that expensive but of course you know you do want to use a medium sized bear because when you hang it off the hand it has to kind of look like it's holding on to the balloons right it can't be too tiny so um that's the look that we're going for so i'm going to use this color same you uh color palette for the bottom because it's hanging off a cloud so i will be using uh two whites my 12 inch uh matted white and i think these are like nine inch pearlized white so i'm gonna probably need a total of 10 for the bottom part and if you see it i made it so it looks like a cloud um, organic it's not gonna be a you know a uh, quad or anything like that so the next thing I'm gonna be using is instead of the pink colors at the top I decided to use some reds because I want to pick up from the bow that he has so I'm gonna put some red on the top and I also do have a confetti balloon that's shaped as a hard as a heart sorry and um, it's the same exact balloon as this one. So I will be using the same one just to change it up, not do the whole thing so red. And my statement balloon is actually so cute, is this white one. So it says, Happy Valentine's Day. And this is really the reason why I'm using red, because on the top is gonna be white and white at the bottom. So I wanna break it up with adding some red you know, at the bottom of this team and balloon. And essentially it does have some pink in it, so it'll go really good with my um, confetti balloon. So I'm gonna use all that for the strings instead of red. I wanna use um, these uh, balloon strings that are almost like a rose gold. I will be tying them up to look as if the bear is hanging off of it. You're going to be needing, well I need a 260Q balloon and I, um, use the chrome gold I just have left over but you do need this and I'll explain to you why in a minute you also gonna need some sort of uh, base okay now I'm sure you can buy them out there but I'm gonna show you an easier way to turn something that you have around your house 
and turn it as a base and support for your arrangement. So you can find these at the dollar store. These are coasters. They, they are cork on that one side, just regular, heavy. I don't know if you can hear it. Yeah, so they're a little bit on the heavier side and I'm not just gonna use one because I don't think it's sturdy enough. So I'm gonna use two. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to use my glue gun and I'm gonna put hot glue right here and I'm going to glue it together, just like that. When you glue them together, you have a heavier base, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do. And at the Dollar Tree, you can find a bag of these wooden uh, sticks, okay? They're Craft Makers, I think is the brand. Hi guys, okay, as I was saying, um, I don't know if you've seen these uh, base for balloons. Sometimes the balloons come with a little stick and this base right here. So this is what I'm using for my support. So I'm gonna grab this base and with my wooden stick, I'm gonna just stick it right here, okay? And I'm gonna secure that. So now that this is done, what I'm gonna do is I need some height because this is really not that tall. I need something taller. So I found out that if you put the stick just like this to each other, and you can either glue it or tape it, okay? It'll make it for a taller structure. Okay, so now, what you're gonna do is you have your two um, little wooden sticks and you're going to put them together just like that. And with clear tape, you're just gonna tape them together. Okay. And the only reason why I'm doing this is because I need to add some height to my piece. And it's not gonna be perfect and that's okay because you will cover this up. And I'll show you how. So you're just gonna go ahead and reinforce that together, okay? But you wanna add a few more uh, pieces of tape for secure to secure it, okay? So I go up sometimes and in an angle, I angle it down. And keep reinforcing it. I just, I think it's easier to just do it with tape because when I try to um, use my glue gun, it just, it just wouldn't uh, stick the, the two together. I don't know if it's maybe just the cheap wood that is not, really you know gluing it but anyways that's all you do so now that i have my stick with my base from my balloon uh topper right what i'm going to do is i'm going to use my glue gun glue these two coasters together to add some um weight and then once that's all glued together i'm going to glue the top of my um, my uh, balloon base right here, I'm gonna hot glue it to my coaster. And this will create almost like a centerpiece base, okay? And this is basically my, this is pretty much my structure and my support for my teddy bear right here behind it. The balloon teddy bear and balloons on the top. So. What I'm going to do is go ahead and glue this up. Okay, you guys, so I pretty much um, hot glue my base and my stick, and it only takes a few seconds before it cools off. Make sure it's cool off because if you are gonna put balloons, they're gonna pop. So make sure, you know, it takes its time cooling off. And for now, I'm going to stretch my 260 Q balloon and it doesn't have to be any type of special chrome balloon. I just, this is leftover I have. So I'm gonna stretch it out. And the reason for me to stretch it out is because it's gonna be easier for me to, you know, um, place my balloon on the stick, okay? Make sure to stretch it out that you, that you have um, enough wiggle room throughout. 
you want your balloon to be stretched out like this so it's easier to insert um, your stick in it, okay? So make sure you stretch it. All right, and now that it's like this, all you're gonna do is just go to the top and insert it in. Be careful, don't rush the process because, you know, it's a delicate uh, base. So if you have somebody to help you, that's even better. Just hold in. Make sure all the air is out so that your balloon is really tight to your stick. And that's it, you guys. So far, it's all ready. So I'm going to put this to the side and I'm gonna start by building my cloud. So this is about, about eight to nine balloons, I will say. So I'm going to use my um, flat balloons and I'm going to inflate them. There's no special size because it's gonna look like a cloud, so you want it to make it look organic. And also you don't want to make it too big because you also have just a limited amount of space to uh, work with this. So what you're going to do is you're going to inflate it different sizes. I already did. And I inflate it two different sizes, okay? I didn't want the cone shape, so you deflate the balloon a little bit. And I'm going to create a quad. But it's not going to stay as a quad. Okay, so this is what I have so far. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab, make sure it's not hot, grab my base of my uh, piece and I'm going to just insert it just like that. Okay, now some balloons are bigger than others and I do want them to be bigger because that's where the teddy bear will be sitting. The other ones are more like filler balloons to look like a cloud and cover my base. So I'm gonna insert my balloon like this and I'm going to weave it into my piece. That way the balloons don't go anywhere. Okay. All right, so this is so far what I got. So now there's some empty space here at the bottom, as you can see, some empty space over here at the back. So I'm going to, these are my matted balloons, okay? Make sure you push them at the bottom. You want your big balloon to be almost up so that the teddy bear can sit there. And now I'm going to inflate my pearlized white balloons. They're smaller, they're nine inches, so, I'm going to grab my any type of stretchy balloon and I think I'm just going to cut it in half. You could marry one end to the other just like this and hook it up like that, but I think my piece is too small. So instead of doing that, I'm just going to cut this balloon in half. And I'm gonna tie right here to this um, duplet. So once it's all tied, then I'm going to weave it into my piece. So I think if I put two right here, it will look really cute. So I'm gonna grab my stretchy and weave it in, okay? Be very gentle with your base only because remember you guys it's just a coaster <laughs> with a stick so you don't want to be too forceful right so I think if I make it just like this because you also want don't want your piece to be tilted to the side which is kind of happening right now so try to make sure you give room for Use your judgment, you know, if it starts looking a little lopsided, fix it, you can do so. That's the beauty of a cloud, right? It doesn't have one shape. 
maybe my big balloon goes at the bottom. I don't know. We'll see how the teddy bear sits on it. Let's first hang our teddy. So now that you got your base, okay, your cloud, you're going to proceed and hang your teddy. Okay, you guys. All right. So I'm going to grab some of my balloon string and I'm going to grab the hand of my teddy and I'm gonna tie it don't cut the string yet I'm going to sit my teddy bear right where I want him to sit. And I'm going to tie him up, tie the hand up. This will mimic him holding the balloons in a moment. Okay, now with this little guy back here, what I did is I also tied up the neck with balloon strings to bring the neck a little forward, just like that, which I think it's what I wanna do for this one, only so that, you know. That way, there's more support, and it's not literally hanging, hanging. Have some of my balloon string <laughs> and it may look like I'm choking the poor guy but you won't see it it's just pretty much going behind Take your time, you guys. Don't rush the process. Trust me, the end result is so lovely. I mean, as you can tell behind here. So take your time figuring things out. Where is he going to sit? Where do you want him to sit? I'm going to move on with my topper. So for my topper, I'm going to use uh, red balloons. These are 12 inches. The ones I used for my pink one these are nine inches so they're smaller but you can still accomplish the same size with the 12 inch just deflate it a little bit so for that one I use a total of five balloons so this one I'm gonna build a quad and just add one more balloon so and again it's gonna be all different sizes I just don't want it too big so this is one With 12 inches, you can accomplish the smaller balloon look, 
but just know that by doing deflating too much you're also compromising the shininess of the balloon because it's not expanding to its capacity so just keep that in mind you're gonna just build your quad See, maybe this one I wanted this big. So I have my quads. Some this is bigger than this one. Just intertwine your balloons. And I'm going to make a fifth one. And the reason why I make a fifth one is because if you look at my uh, pink balloon right here, I have one on the back of this um, statement balloon so that the statement balloon doesn't go back. So it's just giving some support, okay? So I'm just gonna do this. So I'm gonna marry it to here, okay? You can mix the colors, whatever you want. So I have a, a total of five over here. And what I'm gonna do is do the same exact thing as I did at the bottom. I'm just gonna intertwine it over here. Now the next thing is I already have my little balloons here on the top. I'm going to proceed and inflate my statement balloon, okay? And this is just gonna be with air. Okay, and I'm just gonna add some more um, balloon string just to make it that feel like uh, my teddy bear is holding on to the balloons, okay? Okay, you guys, so this is it. Let me show you the final look. So this is it. I hope you like these two arrangements I made for you and I had a wonderful time trying to come up with them. I hope you enjoy them and how lovely you guys. I mean for a girl and a boy, how cute or just that loved one in your life, right? Um, if you make these same arrangements, I would love to see the different designs you guys can come up with. Uh, post them on my Instagram. DM me for them and uh, I love to see all the new pictures you guys because it just makes me make more videos for you. So um, 
they turned out so lovely. So I look forward to seeing you in the next video and thank you so much for watching.